you're here at our Hollywood studio. I'm Dana Ward with Jocelyn Davis, and this is Fashion Face Off. We've made it to round two, and right now we've got a matchup between Ariana Grande and Taylor Swift. And as always, we'll start off with the top recent looks from the carpet. We saw the look for Ariana at the 20th anniversary of Divine Design for Project Angel Food in Beverly Hills. Now, I love this dress because it's perfect for the event. She looks totally angelic, and also it's very Ariana, fun, flirty, and of course, feminine. The top half of the dress is a great satiny fabric, and the bottom half is just a dream. I'm loving the layers upon layers of feathers. I mean, how fun is this? And then Ariana finished off this cute frock with some sparkly peep toe pumps, very minimal accessories, a great bronze tan, and her go-to hairstyle. I kind of think we should start calling it the Ari Pony or something like that because Ariana's smooth and pretty ponytail is a classic style and she always wears it perfectly. It's glamorous, but very youthful and vibrant. And Ariana went for a very similar style feel for another event. She definitely knows her personal style faves more than most stars out there. Here she wore a flirty pink champagne colored dress. The fitted bodice and its sweetheart neckline showcase a more mature and sexy vibe. And we love the added embellishments, how they keep the fashion super sparkly and fun. The shimmery fabric throughout is oh so girly and the wired curled hemline is just so interesting. We're definitely big fans of nude pumps, pink manicured nails, and simple accessories. And again, she's rocking a golden glow. Hello, that ponytail. So yes, I do think that we should call it the Ari Pony. I love it, consider it done. From here on out, it is the Ari Pony. Done. And that is how a trend starts. It's true. All right, so right now we're gonna break down Taylor Swift's red carpet looks, and I'm totally obsessed with this glamorous look from the Grammys. It takes my breath away just talking about it. <laughs> Talk about the details on this one by Zuhair Murad, thanks to the head-to-toe gold sparkle. The high neckline and open design with the cap sleeve is completely one of a kind. It really fits her perfectly throughout, and the heavily embellished hemline and its funky Asian-inspired pattern is both bold and dramatic. Overall, Taylor looks fabulous in this gown, and she stepped out of her go-to comfort zone with a high bun atop her head and a more neutral makeup color palette. It's really all about her looking like a star, and for such a large-scale music event, it's perfect. I agree. The red carpet look I chose for Taylor is hands down one of the most unique dresses I have ever seen. Swifty wore this on her frock to the LA premiere of her film, The Lorax. And again, this is her signature silhouette. It's very vintage inspired in that specific regard. But the cutouts at the top of the bodice and the panels in the back of the dress just make it so modern. For her accessories, T kept it simple and sweet with Neil Lane earrings and au jour shoes. Now in the hair and makeup category, Taylor was dead on with her fresh face and simple twisted back do. I really don't know what else to say, Dana, except that I really, <laughs> really love this look. I also want to mention that the color of this dress popped so well on the orange carpet and I wonder if that was intentional at all. I mean, now that you bring it up, I would think that stars and their stylists have to think about the color of the carpet, right? I agree. I mean, you don't want to like totally clash on it or anything. Yeah, very true. So I do think it was indeed intentional. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so moving on, I should probably just openly admit right off the bat that I am obsessed with Taylor's casual style. And the outfit she was wearing at the LA Eatery Toast recently is a great example of why. She rocked a go-to item, that being a sweet ladylike heart printed dress from Dolce & Gabbana. This silhouette is definitely her signature with a fuller skirt and that cinched waist, but this specific dress is perfect for a daytime outing in sunny SoCal. She finished off this adorable outfit with black flats, oversized sunnies, large stud earrings, and her favorite purse style. It's a cross body bag. And I love the pop of blue color because it adds some fun and youthfulness to her look. And I also want to point out Taylor's hairstyle. I love the simplicity here, and I'm still digging her bangs. She looks so great in so many styles, and this is probably at the top of my list. Overall, I also love that she always stays true to her own personal style and never shows off too much skin. Totally true. Now, I chose this next look for Taylor because she just happens to be hopping on a plane, yet she's totally looking put together. 
Watch out, sweats and slippers. You've been replaced with style. <laughs> First up, the musicians' oxfords are so, so charming with different shades of brown, fabric mixes, and the mini stripe design. They tie in perfectly with her brown cropped pants and her striped top. The maroon and white nautical style is a great fit, and basically each fashion choice that TS made in this outfit complements the overall look. The warm color of her long strap bag is another hit, and her side braid is simply trendy. Even her music case seems to be super cool with the overall fashion, and of course, we know that she kind of needs it versus trying to look cool, so that makes it even cooler. Totally. <laughs> and now we can move on to everyday style for Ariana Grande. Keep in mind that Ariana's casual look is definitely a little bit more dressy than most people, and we love it. She wore a cute lacy number for the pop star 12 and 12 event. The tiers of lace for the skirt area is super fun, especially how they alternate in patterns. Plus, the sleeveless cut keeps it breezy, and the scalloped edges are just a sweet, sweet touch. Ariana's French manicure is classy and classic. The nude pumps are a favorite for her and for celebs across the board. And wow, do you guys see that? There it is again, the Ari Pony. <laughs> this star's hair always looks styled to perfection. I mean, even when she's dressed down, Ariana still looks so fashionable. I chatted with her at the Lollipop Theater Network event last year, where she put her own unique spin on a daytime look, wearing high-waisted shorts, a sleeveless top that was tied in at the waist, black tights, and some really cute two-tone flats. And then she changed up the Ari Pony, and <laughs> she wore it all down with an accessory that we've seen her wear a bunch before, a big pink bow. And I think this is a great take on modern vintage. And Ariana is very outspoken about her love of pinup style, and she totally captured that idea with this casual look. I love it. Oh, I love the bow. Me it's too. so cute. <laughs> All right, guys, so now we're at the wild card round for Ariana. Yes, we are. Now, we adore that Ariana has a consistent go-to style, and she really embraces all things girly, twirly, and feminine. In fact, we are giving her props today for her appreciation of the color pink. Now, some <laughs> stars stray away from the fabulous hue, but Ariana embraces it and really knows how to wear all shades of the color, from her more signature light pink, as both of our red carpet looks showcased, to her ability to pull off a funkier, bright pink color. We can always count on Ariana for consistent pink fashion. Love it. And for Taylor, we decided that she deserves a standing ovation for being an O naturel style star. In that last photo of her casual style, for example, and in several other situations around town, Taylor steps out into the public without makeup. So this might seem like a duh moment, but not many celebrities wear zero makeup and in public. And this girl does it beautifully. Her skin is clean and it glows. Plus, it reminds us all that it's okay to just be ourselves and to let our skin breathe. Taylor is gorgeous with or without makeup. So the end of the wild card round officially marks the end of any matchup. So we're all done with Ariana Grande versus Taylor Swift. You can count on us to reveal the results of this round next Sunday with a new episode of Fashion Face Off. But first, we want to hear from you. Make sure that you vote for who should win in this competition. Leave a comment below with the winner's name, Taylor or Ariana, and an explanation about why her style is the best. Or you can tweet us at CleverTV along with hashtag CTVFF. Any viewers out there who leave a standout comment have the chance to receive a special shout out in our results show. Again, that's next Sunday. Now to remind you where we are at in the competition, we are at the third matchup out of four for round two. At the end of this round, we'll have four remaining fashionistas going head to head for one top spot. And then we'll crown this season's fashion face-off winner on Clever TV. I'm Dana Ward with Jocelyn Davis, and thanks again for tuning in.